Trump will sign spending bill and declare a national emergency. The president is now actually not engaged in some police state action. It is his duty, not his right. It's his duty. When you've got giant caravans and 5 million coming Gallup reports and a total of tax and UN programs, don't do what Europe did. Defend us or you are the enemy. So discernment is a human intellect interfacing with the universe and God for divine intelligence. And let me tell you, it's the most pure intelligence you'll ever have. Interfacing with God is so powerful. I told you back in October that Trump would declare a national emergency, and that would be the sign that he was taking the proper action. CNBC now reporting. They're already announcing legal challenges. Trump will sign spending bill and declare, which is perfect. It doesn't let them stall the economy and blame him, a national emergency. Finally. Because Obama signed national emergencies that were unconstitutional in areas that weren't constitutional, like the border or national security, and used that to set up stay-behind networks that I have been enjoying the attacks from. It's now mainstream news. $2 billion, hundreds of millions against InfoWars and other alternative media. It has not been fun, let me tell you. But I'm very proud that I'm not having to chew dirt with George Washington and get shot at by Hessians or Redcoats. I've just got to be lied about and sued and attacked. So we'll have Matt Bracken take over, but this is a big deal. President Trump will sign spending legislation to prevent a government shutdown and declare a national emergency to build his proposed border wall. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell just said minutes ago. This will be a day long remembered. The president is now actually not engaged in some police state action. It is his duty. Not his right. It's his duty. When you've got giant caravans and 5 million coming Gallup reports and a total of tax and UN programs, don't do what Europe did. Defend us or you are the enemy. We're being attacked. This isn't showmanship, folks. This is normal what men act like to rally people. And now Trump again, in the balance, he was doing some things that were wrong, some things that were right. This puts him into the right column again. And these evil courts will say that they have jurisdiction over him. There's three branches of government. All the lower courts have overrid the president, but then the higher court always unanimously goes with him because he goes with the law. And in a crisis, the president and the executive is king, as long as the people support him. If we had real leadership, and I don't want fascism or Pinochet or helicopters, but my God, they're helicoptering our babies, killing them when they're already born. They are. They are literally sexualizing our children. I don't want to do this to these people, but I'm not going to stand by while they wage war on our unborn children and our born children and wait while they stage some false flag. So Matt's been waiting. I, I was already getting ready for another meeting. I was going to be listening to Matt, but I, Matt, this is a big deal. And this is, thank God, this is such good news. Mitch McConnell said it. I hope it's true. I have it at about a 98% probability now. How amazing is this, Matt Bracken? I mean, we're watching the real second battle, the first battle found in the nation. The Civil War was an interim, but this is really, the, the, I guess, the third battle for the future of the Republic. We are living in incredible times. Yeah, this is, there, there's a, a saying about choosing your battles. You know, you don't want to, blow all your political capital on frivolous things or side issues. But this is the big show. The border is the bi is really the big one. And the optics are great. You know, Trump is a showman. He really understands media. How many times have they counted him out, going back to Billy Bush and before that even? But this is the optical that he the optic that he can win. He can go down to the border where those caravans are are aiming for the uh, Arizona and Texas border where there there's no fence. And, if, and, and he can make the case that it is an invasion. When you've got communists, you, know, you can call them NGOs, you have communists down in El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras. UN-funded hardcore commies saying, we're coming to overthrow America. Declared and not, enemies. And they're not marching. You know, they're, they just, they show up in a town and they take pictures of them, you know, hoofing it around. Uh, but really, they're getting on buses now. And those buses are not cheap. No, they're so mechanized. Very, they're mechanized infantry. Yeah, there's there's very very deep pockets behind this, and people need to understand. Right in the Constitution, 
I mean, it's in black and white. And I, I don't know what is going on with our, think, our talking heads on the uh, networks. They go into deep esoteric uh, new laws about emer the emergency laws, but right in the Constitution, Article 4, Section the 4. The president is in charge of it, baby. Right. And shall protect each of them against invasion. So it says, the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government, not a democracy, uh, uh, like uh, Sh Peter Schiff was talking about in the last hour, and shall protect each of them against invasion. It doesn't say he may protect them if the communist government wishes that to be so, for example, Newsom in California. It says he shall protect each of them against invasion. Well, what happens when you have a communist government like Newsom? Well, that's what who, I just said. Exactly. You, you don't, it's not, it's not a right, it's a duty. He will execute. That's right. He shall protect each of them, not if the communist government of that state requests it. And it's very important for people to understand what's going on in California. You know, for the youngsters in, in my lifetime, California produced uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, it, it was, uh, it had a, the, the, um, uh, the referendum on paying nothing to illegal aliens, no school, no medical, nothing. And that was overturned by courts. But this is so clear cut, defending the border. You know, we had forts built along the border. We've sent the army into Mexico many times. I mean, deep into Mexico. And this is a, this is a clear cut of a case as it gets. And the media that says, oh, there's no crisis, it's time to call them out for what they are. They're quizzling traitors. They want to turn every state into California, or as I call it now, Calizuela, because it's a, it's a very perfect ironclad socialist formula to take over a state, flood it with illegals. You know, they use motor voter. You go in California, they announce on billboards, on radio, hey, if you're not here legally, don't worry about it. Come on down and get your driver's license. And while you're there, we'll hand you a voter card. And don't mind about voter fraud because we've never investigated anybody for it. So right now, California is completely, you know, controlled by the socialists and their illegal alien minions. And that's what they're going to do in every other state if we don't put a stop to it. And it has to stop with the border being closed. As long as you've got, you know, tens of thousands of illegals marching in every month, and then, you know, a year later, their kids are in school. Then they'll be called the next crop of dreamers. We're done. If we can't control the border, this country is done because it's absolute fact that more than 80 percent of these third world immigrants will vote Democrat. They can't speak English. They don't know what the Constitution means. All they've heard is that in America, the streets are paved with gold and the government will just hand you a food card that, you know, an EBT card that's going to be good for food, for housing, for medical, for your kids' school, for everything. All you've got to do is get to America and vote for the Democrats. And that's the end of our country, folks. And this is the fight to fight right at the border over the wall. And we'll be back on the other side of this and, and uh, pick this up. I'm really thrilled to hear about the emergency. It's about time. We'll be seeing you in a minute. Getting your protein has never been easier with InfoWars Life Protein Bars. Available in delicious chocolate peanut butter and vanilla coconut flavors, these protein bars are the perfect answer for a snack on the go. InfoWars Life Protein Bars are nutrient-packed, portable protein bars for an easy-to-eat and great-tasting meal. Pre- or post-workout fuel alternative. At just 240 calories per bar and 15 grams of protein each, these bars will be your favorite at-hand snack for at home, in the car, at work, or on the go for getting nutrients easily. High in fiber and nutrients with wholesome ingredients for high-level performance with great taste, such as whey protein and chocolate compounds. These protein bars can help you with the boost you need to reach your goals. Protein-packed and full of fiber and healthy ingredients, InfoWars Life Protein Bars are a can't-miss snack for any InfoWarrior serious about their energy. Try both flavors today at InfoWarsStore.com.